Today's musical guest describes his sound as eclectic. It covers a whole lot of genres. He loves John Denver. He loves Dan Fogelberg. So don't be surprised if over the next hour you hear just a little bit of that in his own music. Uh, welcome back to the CI stage, Steve Rodman and company. Uh, you're Steve. I'm assuming uh, these guys are the company. That's that's exactly right. So Sean Farman. Here we'll use this one. Sean, Sean Farman. You got Danny Applegate back here. All right. And you got Jeremy Harper back here. Perfect. So, and all are champagne they, people. Are they good company? Uh, no, they're excellent. Oh, okay. Excellent <laughs> company, yeah. Well, well tell company. me a little bit. We mentioned some of your musical influences right off the top. You, uh, John Denver, Dan Fogelberg. Uh, how did that start for you? Was it a while back or more recent? Uh, that's a long story, and the really short one is I, I connected in boot camp, actually, with the John Denver stuff, and it was pretty new back then, telling my age, but, uh, but uh, yeah, sang a John Denver song in boot camp, actually, and uh, so it kind of took off from there, and as I got on with years, why well, I loved his music and gravitated to Dan. Of course, he's from Peoria, and he was in Danville a lot and uh, back in those days, and um, yeah, just hooked up with all that. It really spoke to my heart, and so here we are, and I got, you know, the best with me, and uh, that makes all the difference in the world. So. Would you say it's more inspired by these guys, your music, or are, are these impressions? These guys or? are the other guys. <laughs> no, the other guys, like Dan Fogelberg, <laughs> no, for very, example. Very much so, very much so. I, I have my own style and with the way I write, and in fact, this latest album, people thought, oh, it's going to sound just like John Everett. And I thought, no, it, that wasn't it at all. And, uh, of course, with the help along the way that, you know, all the guys are on the album, things kind of changed a little bit. But, but more than anything, it was um, those were pieces from my past that turned into songs, so they sound nothing like any of that, and uh, that's okay with me. So yeah. much so, though, are these guys' influences that you have a show coming up uh, in the summer. Yes, sir. Yeah, we've been to Aspen and uh, had our own shows uh, a couple times. We we do a lot of John Denver and Dan Fogelberg. And uh, so August 24th and 25th, that's Saturday, Sunday, at Turtle Run in Danville, Illinois, and the Boat Club the following day, we're going to have a tribute to uh, Dan Fogelberg, and it's going to be a big one. 90's Daughter, of course, um, you know, one of uh, they've traveled with us and sure. worked and uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about them but you know who they are they're a piece of all this and I just kind of want to throw that in there but these these gentlemen here will be there along with love sign and a lot of mixture of bands uh, pulled together you know to form a band and that's how we perform together fantastic so, well we'll talk a lot more about that between now and the end of the hour but awesome. uh, what are you guys gonna kick us off with here um, this is a song that I uh, Never get tired of singing. It's such a lovely ditty, and, and um, we thought we'd pull some out of the archives that we don't do a whole lot. And it's a lovely song by Neil Young okay. uh, called, um, what do you want to call this? Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon. I love right. the moon. <laughs> and I Take it away here on the CI stage. Just like children sleeping, we could dream this night away. But there's a full moon rising. Let's go. Let's go.
All right, it's Steve Rodman and company on the CI stage. Make sure you give them a like on Facebook and we'll connect you with more details at CILiving.tv.